Hey everybody, it's Collector Dude. I'm back with another video. I'm going to try to get done with all these books. I got like over 100 independents to finish the videos for the uh, haul of, it was like a 14 uh, half price books haul. And I did it all in different parts, like I talked about before, like A, B, and C, to try to be clever. I don't know if I did a good thing by doing that because I got three short boxes sitting here full of. Uh, DC books that I have to put on there as well. So it'll be A, B, and C. So let's try to get as many of these done as possible. This may be part A and B. We'll see. But I, I got a lot of cool books. And then I have two more stacks of books that I bought and another stack over there that I went and bought at Half Price Books. They've been putting out a lot of books and I love it. But it ends up um, adding to the pile of stuff that I have to try to get done. And I have a visitor. Let's show you. Here's Nova. Remember she was in a video a long time ago? Say hi, Nova. You gonna say hi? No. <laughs> but she's been sleepy. Mommy left to go to the store. And she loves giving kisses. And she went to go to the store. She's kind of um, sad that mom's gone. So she's down here with me. And she's trying to play and everything. She's being a little quiet. So she's kind of sad that mom's gone. But all right, you'll be okay. Yep, okay, huh? Well, I'm going to go do some videos. I'm going to do a video so everybody can see the comic books I got. And you can sit here and you can watch. So say bye-bye. See you later. Okay, I'll set you back down here. Okay, sit down here. I'm going to grab some books now. All right, Nova, she's really, she's cool. She's very cool and everything. Okay, I got the Powerpuff Girls Super Smash. And I went through... And I found a whole bunch of them. I'm sitting there going, okay, this is Powerpuff Puff Girls Super Smash. This is number one, I think. Um, and it's got a little com a backup story in there with Courage the Cowardly Dog. So I used to love these cartoons. I'd watch them with my kids and everything. And then this is uh, number five of Super Smash Up with a f featuring Dexter's Laboratory. I loved Dexter's Laboratory. These are cool. So... And then let's see what else I got. I got Super Secret Crisis War, The Grim Adventures of Billy and Mandy. This is a one shot. <laughs> so when I saw them, I grabbed them because I thought they were cool. Because I remember watching them when I was uh, had my kids with me all the time when they were little. Here's a uh, cow and chicken one shot right there. And here's Super Secret Crisis War number one. My goodness, villains, villains. And then here's um, number three of the Super Secret Crisis War. And here's number five. Very cool. And here's Foster's Home for Imaginary Friends. This is a one shot for the Super Secret Crisis War as well. Here's Johnny Bravo, one shot. <laughs> I haven't seen some of these cartoons in years, but they were always funny. Here's Kids Next Door, right here. Then I got this one. I think Janet might have picked this one up. Power and Glory Holiday Special. <laughs> she liked, She thought the story was funny. She said she went through it and thought it was funny. Then I got Back to the Future. This is cool, number 15. These are going for a little bit of money. I was surprised. I was like, really? I like the movie. Everybody loves, I mean, you know, if you don't like the movie, it's kind of, it seems like it's like world-renowned loved and everything, at least in this country. But um, I, when I saw this, I said, let me grab Back to the Future because I think they're really cool. And I always love the movies. Like I said, here's number 18. And here's Betty and Veronica by Adam Hughes. So I, I didn't, never saw this before. So I, he did all, the artwork on the inside. And I wanted to finish this story, Barbalian, Red Planet. This is number two. I had one through five, but I didn't have two. So I didn't have one through five. I had one, three, four, and five. I think it might be number six, two, or just or it's just five issues. But that's number two right there. They, like I said, sometimes at the Half Price Books, they'll put out some. And then the next week, they'll put out another ones or the next day or whatever. And you just go back. If you get a, a run, 
You just got to go back at some time or ask for them. They might be able to find it for you. And then I found Cross Bronx. This looks kind of cool. This I have number two of this. And this is th one, three, and four. And I like uh, Michael Van Omen artwork. So this is cool. That's one. There's three. And there's four. So put those back. Then I've had number two of this. And I didn't have number one. So here's number one of Dragonheart. And here's number two right here from another video I showed. So I'm going to put it with it so I can keep them together. Because I got I got all my stuff separated. Like all my um, older books. I'm going to do a bronze, copper age, modern age video series. I started it before when I was at my apartment. Now I'm going to do, do them here. I got two, two like... I think I got 10 boxes of Marvel and five boxes of DC sitting there. Everything, I'm going to go through a video series. And there's a sh half, or there's maybe six boxes of DC, one sitting on the floor. Then I got all my independent stuff over here and all my other stuff I got to get all looked through and try to get them all together. It's like when you, I see people on Facebook trying to put stuff together and they put them in alphabetical order, they're dividing them up and they're rebagging and boarding it. And it's like the more books you get, it's like, ah, so I like, it's just like with these over here. Once I get these DC books filmed and on video so you can see what I got, then I got to incorporate them or integrate them and all this other stuff. It's like, wow. But it's fun. It's like, I mean, if you like doing it, you like doing it. So here we go with Night Hunters. I never saw this before. This looked cool. FWC, like Floating World Comics. I never saw this before. This one. Uh, this is two. There's three and four. I never saw these before. So I said, that's a cool story. I'm about to put this aside and watch it. I mean, read it. Then I picked up another uh, purge that I did artwork inside. Got another one of that. Try to get, like I said, some certificates of authenticity and sign them and everything and use them as prizes or sell them. And I got this because I thought this was cool. Uh, I like Kevin McGuire, but he... I have number one of Strike Back. Here's number two. I went back to the store to get them. Here's three. There's four. And five of that. I'm not sure if they have any more. They may have. I've got to look and see. Then I got another one book. I picked this up. I got it offline, I think. So it's kind of a combination of half-price books and on online stuff. This is a, a book I worked on and did the artwork and everything in it. My ex did the story and everything. It was pretty good, pretty pretty good book for our church that we did went to back in Youngstown, Ohio. So that's that. And then I got another one of these, Umbrella Academy, number two of six. Then I found a bunch of these, Usagi Yojimbo. So I'm gonna try to get through all of these. Here's number sixty-six. Wow. Sixty-seven. Sixty-eight. Try to keep them in order. Here's sixty-nine. Seventy. Somebody must have took their whole collection in or something. Here's seventy-three. They weren't all complete. Here's seventy-four or seventy-seven. But I never read this before, but I'm gonna check it out. I flipped through all of them as I bagged them. They look really good. There's seventy-nine. And I don't think they're not in color. I don't think. 97, if I remember correctly. 97. It's been a while since I looked through them because they've been sitting here for a little bit. 98, and I've been going to get other stuff. It's like, because I just feel like I want to go through them and read them. Here's 105. I was looking at somebody on Facebook. They posted, they, they read like 266 books uh, this month or something like that. This past month out of 2,000 or something like that they read throughout the year. And <laughs> everything I'm thinking... They got a goal. They're trying to reach it. They're trying to read everything that they bought. And it's that's hard to do. 107. Here's 110. 114. Here's 123. I love to get these signed. And a lot of stuff you'll find, it'll get it'll be signed. You don't know it until you get home. 124, because they're either they'll sign it inside the cover or I got some John Byrne books like that. Here's 125. He signed on the splash page and everything. Here's 
we saw we saw the Yojimbo uh, grass cutter. That, that was uh, Dark Horse, and this is Dark Horse too. These I'm not sure the order these are in. This is number fourteen. Here's fifteen grass cutter. Sixteen. There's uh yeah. There's twenty. Here's twenty one. And here is twenty two. 23 and there's 24 another that's I think yeah that stopped at 23 and here's 24 and here's 25 I got a lot of these 29 63 and this is, and I think this jumped to something else. That's why I put them in order the way they looked. I might be out of order, even though, because I have to go through them and look at them again to see exactly which where they fall. Here's 31. And this says um, Dark Horse Maverick on it. So it's 31. Here's 32 of that line, series. And then 33. Uh, 35. 36, 37, I like the meat uh, stand, here's 38, I have to look for a signature book, maybe buy it online if I can't meet him, here's 40, here's 42, 43, here's 44, 45, 47, 49, here's 51, here's 52, there's a lot of these, 54, he has great action, and there's 55, here's 58, and 60, 61, uh, here's 62, and that's it of those. Wow, I was running close. I was trying to fill up another box, and <laughs> it got close. So now it jumps to Youngblood X-Force. I found another one of these. Very cool. Then I found Vogue. Number one. I've been trying to pick up number ones if I see them of some of the old image stuff. So I, th I thought it was just cool so I could look at it and see what it was about. Because I didn't pick up everything back then, years ago. And, I, and if I did, I don't know what I have or what I had. But I sold everything. Here's number one. A War Child. And then I found this at my local comic book store, Witchblade. Uh, Pack Rat. Witchblade number one. Thought it was kind of cool just to get number one. Here's Witchblade Deathpool. I think this was a, a story. So this is Deathpool. Um, number one, two, and three. I'm not sure if I want any more. Here's one. There's two. And three. Of Deathpool. And then I found a Wicked, the Wicked and the, the Divine, number 32. Like a homage cover. The, um, uh, Walking Dead and I think that might have been Walking Dead 100 but I thought that was a cool looking cover so I grabbed it then I found these, these are cool I got Weapon Zero there's a lot of them in here I was like this, this is T-4 of uh, Weapon Zero and I love uh, Benitez's artwork that's T-4 T-4 and here's T3. I love the artwork back years ago. I remember having these. Here's T2. I'm going to enjoy looking at these. And here's T1. Then it starts with zero. The weapon zero. Then you got one. And so I, got, I found these online signed, so I grabbed some of these. This one's, these are from Half Price Books, but I got some sign issues. That's one. 
There's two, three. I think I got them at half price or mycomicshop.com when I got them signed. I got number one signed and I think this one. Here's number four. I got this one signed in gold. It was very nice. Here's number five. Here's six, seven. Beautiful artwork, man. Wow. Here's eight, nine. That is very cool, the colors and everything. Uh, and I didn't get number 10. I see number 10. I'm going to have to find that one. Here's 11. Very cool, interesting characters. I'd love to see an animation series of this. Here's 12. One other book I'd like to see it. Um, is Once in Future by Image. Um, this is number 12. I like to see an animation or a live action of that one. And I, I got most of the books and everything like that. I'm starting to read it. Here's 13. I, I read number one and I haven't read any of the other ones. Here's 13 of Weapon Zero. It's a, it's a, it's a weird how you do that. You start reading something, then I'll jump over something else and jump over something else. I'll start doing something else and don't finish it. <laughs> so, okay, here's 14. Wow, this one's bloody. It's like a zombie cover, number 14. Of weapon zero. Here's number 15. And then I got Wolverbroad versus Hobo. Mm, kind of politically incorrect for that one, but it's funny. <laughs> Spoof comics, it says, number one. <laughs> I'm like, really? Wow. I saw it was number one. I grabbed it. Hey. Now we got Wraithborn Redux. Benitez artwork again. This is, uh, I think this is yeah, Benitez, issue three, uh, issue four, beautiful artwork. Here's five, six, then I got these, Weapon Zero, it's like Devil's Reign, it was a storyline they were doing, Weapon Zero and Silver Surfer, and this is chapter one. This is uh, chapter two, Sideblade and Ghost Rider. And here's chapter three, Ghost Rider and Ballistic. All in the Devil's Reign series, which will be, should be fun to read. This is chapter four, Ballistic and Wolverine. And Witchblade and Electra. This is chapter six. I got to get chapter five. I think, yeah, that was number four. I got to get chapter five. Here's chapter seven. Electra and Psyblade. And here's chapter 8, Silver Surfer and Weapon Zero. Very cool cover. And then the interlude, Cyber Force, number 30. And here's interlude, Weapon Zero, number 10. I, everything that said Devil's Reign all across the top, I grabbed it. So those are all those issues. And then Let's see if I can get these in. Found some more Back to the Future. This one's signed. Back to the Future number one, IDW. Geoffrey Comics was down there, was signed down there at the bottom. I'm not sure whose signature it is. I'll have to check it out. And I got a uh, Back to the Future number 22. I love this cover. Then I got Dracula versus Zorro number one. Very cool. That should be cool. And there's two. It was two of two. Then I got a Gun Honey, number one. <laughs> That's a name. That's a cool title. Then I got Knight's Temporal, number one. Very cool cover. The Land of Time Forgot, number one. Then I got New New Think, number one. Love Diodato artwork, so I grabbed this one. I've been trying to get all... He's been knocking out a lot of bar artwork, a lot of books. Then I got... Let's see if I can get all of these in here... See. Try to get them all in here real quick. Not all robots, number one. Diodato artwork. Radiant Black. I got another number one. Very cool. Then I got Radiant Black number two. Here's another cover. I'm not sure what this is. Radiant Black or Radiant Red number one. Very cool. Then I got a shiny cover. And this one's uh, super massive. Little shiny cover. That was cool. They were like all grouped together, so I just grabbed them all. And I love Radiant Red store. I love the Radiant Black store, so hopefully I like Radiant Red. This is number one. 
of Radiant Red. Then I got number two. And it says it's of five. So then I got Serenity number one of three with Adam Hughes cover on it. This is very cool. And I got three of three. Now I got Silver Star number one. Another cover of that one. And I got a, another Silver Star. This is the issue two. Then I got Terror. Which of the Black Rose, number one? I found these. These were nice. And I got, these are more mature stuff. This is number 14. Jim Ballant stuff. This is number 14 as well. I guess he did two covers for this. Very nice. Then I got Turtles, cover B, 127. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Then I got a I've been trying to pick up the free comic book day stuff too because sometimes the stories are interesting. It's different than a, a regular series. So I got Transformers Unicron Zero free comic book day. And then this looked interesting. I'm going to enjoy reading. I like stories like this as long as it's not too gory or anything like that. I like horror a little bit. This is Vampire State Building. Very cool name. Charlie Adler, the guy that draws uh, Walking Dead, he did the artwork in this one. And this is number one. Very cool. Then I, this is, looked nice. War for the Planet of the Apes, number 104. Then these are nice. I got two of these. Age of the Palladians. We live. Age of the Palladians, number one of, well, number one. Black, it says. I got two copies of that. Very nice. Then I got two copies of this other one. We live, Age of the Palladians, number one, white. So I got two copies of that. And my last book to show you on this for the independent comic books is World of Warcraft, number one. I got, I think this is my second copy with a Jim Lee cover on it. Very cool. So that's all I got. I finally got, I got through all that. I was hoping I would. Hope, let me know what you think. Uh, let me know what you think just about all the books. If you have any of these, uh, if you like them, what you think about them. If you're reading any of them, let me give me some hints or tips on what's going on. I don't care about spoilers and everything. I want to go through it. But if you don't want to spoil it, you don't have to. But if you do, hey, take, hey, uh, click do, check that book out, yeah, enjoy that book. That book is going to be cool, stuff like that. Because I I got out, um, and from IDW, I think it's from IDW or some. I forgot the company exactly, but I, the out book, that vampire that the Nazis got, and they're trying to use it to go send it against the Allies. It is good, and they got other covers on eBay that I'm looking at getting. And I'm going to try to get the whole series because I want to read it because, oh my gosh, it was good. The first book. Wow. So let me know what you think. You guys have a great day. I'm going to get to my DC books and then I get a whole nother haul and then the other stuff in the back. But thank you very much for watching. Thank you for your support. You guys have a great day and Collector Dude is out.